The website Gearbest reached out to me and they were nice enough to let me pick a 3D printer to review. For full disclosure, this printer they sent is at no expense to me, but I will keep this video review honest and I want to share my personal experience with this printer, including the pros and cons as well as some of my test prints. The 3D printer I wanted to review is called the Zone Star Dual Extruder. As of filming this video, the price is only $239, which is a good deal for any printer that can print two colors. This 3D printer comes as a kit, meaning it will be in many parts that you have to put together yourself. The assembly will take patience and care, but I found their step-by-step -step instructions provided on the SD card easy to follow. For me, I have 3D printing experience and I enjoy building things, so I actually enjoyed this part, but I would not recommend any 3D printer kits for people who are just starting to 3D print or who don't like to build their own printer. In fact, wiring up the main power can be very dangerous if you don't do it correctly. There's a lot of good information on this SD card that will help you get started. I want to run through some of the options available on this machine. You have your standard quick settings like change filament, home axis, preheat and cool down. You can also adjust the position of each axis, including the filament. And you can choose what kind of bed coating you have. And you can change the general settings like language, feed rate, and heated bed. I don't recommend printing directly to the metal plate. It's best to use some sort of adhesive like blue painter's tape, but I've had great results using BuildTac in the past, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. Every motor has a limit switch that when triggered will turn off that motor. I'm not sure if I'm missing a part or if these yellow cables are supposed to be that trigger, but I added a simple binder clip to the print bed to make that triggering more consistent. I noticed that the spool holders that came with this machine were a little too short for my filament, but one of the test 3D files that they provide is a longer holder and that worked perfectly. There was a couple times when I would try to change out the filament that the tip would get stuck on the end of this tube holder but it was easy enough to unscrew and push the filament through. I wanted to test how well this machine can print gears, and I chose this particular model since the gears rotate from the stored energy built up in the 3D printed spring. Every piece seemed to fit well together, and the gears rotated without any problems, so I'm happy with how well this print turned out. Next I printed a chain with alternating colors. I turned on the wipe and prime tower setting in Cura, so every time it switched between colors, it would wipe off the excess filament and print the next color on the tower before printing the chain. The printed raft and supports also peeled off nicely. It turned out strong, and besides a few tags of filament, I thought it did a good job. This one really impressed me. I printed this owl model, and the details speak for themselves. I can clearly see the wood grain, the claws, the feather details, and the print lines are almost not noticeable. Having a dual extruder printer really gives you these options to print two colors on the same model, two models in different colors, or a single color model. It has all these options in one printer. This model is a good test of printing two colors on the same model, and to test how well the cap will screw on at the top. I turned on the wipe and prime tower, as well as the ooze shield settings in Cura. The ooze shield really helped block the other nozzle's filament from oozing when it was not in use. The ooze shield easily peeled away and revealed a clean model and the top screwed on tightly. Printing with two colors has been a good learning experience for me. I had a few trial and error prints where I could see a real difference between having and not having a wipe and prime tower and an ooze shield turned on, as well as raft and supports. These settings will add extra time to your prints, but in the end will give much better results. This rook is another good test of the single color detail resolution. This model has a tiny staircase that can be clearly seen, as well as a thin double helix that is hard to film but is all intact. The small details are impressive when considering the size of the entire model. I ordered some special filament to test out. This is real wood that is mixed in with PLA plastic. It feels like wood, it can even be sanded or wood stained. I will be using it on my next video. I made my first simple computer, and this wooden case is printed on this printer. I look forward to showing and explaining how it works and what it can do. 
This is the last model I wanted to test out. It is a fidget cube that has several hinges that allow it to completely invert from inside out. Even more impressive is that this printed in one piece without any assembly. I think printing this with two colors makes it more interesting than if it was all just one color. I will leave all the links to the models I found in this video description. Overall I had a good experience with the Zonestar Dual Extruder 3D printer. I was happy with the speed and the print quality once I found the Cura settings that worked for me. I plan to continue to use this in my future projects. Feel free to leave any comments if you have any more questions. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.